We're all able to visit websites, watch YouTube videos, and share on Instagram thanks to something called HTTP, which you obviously see in links and URLs. So in this video, we will answer three main questions. 1. What is HTTP and how does it work? 2. What are the important things to know about HTTP? 3. What is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? Bring a paper and a pen, focus and listen carefully because this video is filled with a lot of information. So first of all, what is HTTP and how does it work? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's a set of rules that computers use to talk to each other over the internet. For example, when you open YouTube, your browser asks the YouTube server to give him the YouTube webpage that you see on your screen, and then YouTube responds to the browser by sending him the webpage so that you can sit and watch my video here. It's similar to sending a letter and getting a reply, but much faster and done with computers. In this process, the browser is called the client and YouTube is called the server. Two, what are the important things to know about HTTP? One of the important things to know about HTTP is understanding what is a request and a response. For more understanding, let's see this diagram. Here, as we saw earlier when you visit a website, the browser sends a request to the website server, then the website sends back a response. So first of all, what the hell is a request? An HTTP request is a way for your browser, which is also called the client, to ask a website for information. It happens when you open a web page, click on a link, or perform any online action that requires data. For example, when you log in to a website, add items to a shopping cart, or submit a form, etc. Second, what is an HTTP response? An HTTP response is a message that a website sends back to your browser after you asked for information. The response contains the information you requested, like a web page, an image, a video, etc. So now after we've seen what is an HTTP request and response, let's move on to something more exciting, which is HTTP methods. To better understand this part, think about this. What actions can you perform on a website? You can view pages, upload photos, texts, and videos, delete files, etc. All these actions are called HTTP request methods, or just call it HTTP methods. There are plenty of HTTP methods, but we will focus on the get, post, put, and delete methods. First of all, the get method is used to retrieve information from the server, like web pages, images, videos, or any other resource from the server. For example, when you visit a website, your browser sends a get request to the server to get the web page. Second, the post method is used to send data to the server, for example, uploading files, submitting a login form, etc. Third, the put method is used to modify a resource on the server, for example, updating the user's profile information. Fourth, the delete method is used to delete a resource from the server, for example, when you remove a post or a comment from social media. One of the important things about HTTP is HTTP status codes. I'm sure you've encountered a page saying 404 not found. This is an example of an HTTP status code, which is part of the HTTP response that the server sends to your browser. These codes are like short messages sent by the server to your browser, letting you know the result of your request. These HTTP status codes are categorized into five categories, but just to not overwhelm you, we will just see three common status codes. First, we got the code 200, which is part of this category, which means that everything is working fine. Next, we got the famous code 404, which is part of this category, which means that the server couldn't find the page you're looking for. After that, we got the code 500, which is part of this category, which means that something went wrong on the server side. I will leave a list of all the status codes in the description. Finally, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? I'm sure you've noticed HTTPS in URLs and links more than HTTP. If you're watching this video on your computer, go to the address bar. You'll see that the URL starts with HTTPS. So what does it mean? HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, which means that HTTPS is the secure version of HTTP because it encrypts the data being sent. This helps protect sensitive information like passwords and credit card information from being stolen. And please remember, this is just an overview of HTTP. I still haven't mentioned many things, but the information in this video will definitely help you understand the other things faster.